The coronation of King Charles is happening on May 6th, and the royal family is all geared up for a weekend of celebrations. And the coronation quiche is the hero of the ceremony. Charles's coronation includes some major events, like a special lunch featuring a signature dish. In fact, King Charles and Queen Camilla have personally chosen the royal meal in a recent announcement, and it's already going viral. Introducing coronation quiche, the caption reads. The royal family's website shared the full recipe for the dish, which involves spinach, broad beans, which Americans also refer to as fava beans, grated cheddar cheese and tarragon. The recipe says that the dish can be served hot or cold with a green salad and boiled new potatoes. The recipe, which was developed by royal chef Mark Flanagan, was shared online, find it at royal.uk, so that anyone who wanted to celebrate the coronation, but didn't score an invite to the official ceremonies, could make it at home. The King and Queen consort also hope it will encourage people to share the dish with their families, friends and neighbours as part of the countrywide coronation big lunch celebrations, filled with spinach, tarragon, cheese and broad beans, also known as fava beans. The royal family even included a video and recipe so you can try the dish in your own home. The announcement was also made on Instagram, where they boasted that the spring dish is easily adapted to different tastes and preferences. Just like with other quiche recipes, you can serve it hot or cold and with your favourite picnic sides or tea time treats. But why quiche? According to the former chef of the royal family, Darren McGrady, the king loves anything with eggs and cheese, he wrote on Twitter. The king's coronation meal choice didn't come as a shock to one former royal chef. It's no surprise that the King Charles III has shared coronation quiche to celebrate his coronation, Darren McGrady tweeted. His mother, the Queen loved chocolate, but the King loves anything with eggs and cheese. Made this for him many times, especially with salmon he'd caught in the River Dee. McGrady will be commemorating the occasion in Dallas, Texas, at the newest location of his Winston's British Fish and Chips food truck. The recipe also won over another British icon, Great British Baking Show judge Dame Prue Leith. According to Vanity Fair, she got an early taste of the dish at an event held at Westminster Abbey. There was no soggy bottom, the custard was not overcooked and dry, and the balance of tarragon was perfect, she said. A really good quiche. Not everyone has been completely bowled over by the recipe. Felicity Cloak, a food writer at The Guardian, made a quiche of her own and decided that it was more like spinach pie and that it was less original and less distinctive than the late Queen Elizabeth's coronation chicken but it's also likely to be less divisive, which is exactly what the country needs right now, she wrote. Whether anyone will remember it in 70 years' time is another matter. As per the Pioneer Woman report, this isn't the first time a recipe has been announced to the public in honour of a coronation. Nearly 70 years ago, coronation chicken was introduced for the crowing of Queen Elizabeth in 1953. The recipe was a type of curried chicken salad that quickly became a staple in many households. The original name for the dish was Poulet Reine Elizabeth, but it was later referred to as Coronation Chicken. So it's easy to see where Coronation Quiche gets its name too. On the personal front, earlier this month, it was announced that Prince Harry will attend King Charles's coronation without Meghan. The Duchess of Sussex will stay in California with their young children, Prince Archie and Princess Lilibet. The palace said in a statement, Buckingham Palace is pleased to confirm that the Duke of Sussex will attend the coronation service at Westminster Abbey on the 6th of May. The Duchess of Sussex will remain in California with Prince Archie and Princess Lilibet. Prince Harry will sit 10 rows behind his brother for King Charles's coronation, Prince William. Despite the appearance of a snub, Prince Harry's far back position could be helpful if he wishes to make a quick exit, the ex-royal aide revealed. Mr. Burrell told GB News' Dan Wooten, he doesn't want to spend much time around them. According to royal expert, there is no chance of a reconciliation anytime soon, I'm afraid. I think he will get a very icy reception from the Windsors. There is no chance of a reconciliation anytime soon, I'm afraid. I think he will get a very icy reception from the Windsors. Mr. Burrell added his opinion that Duke of Sussex is not going to hang around, with some speculating he could be in and out of the UK within 24 hours. He said, He is coming to put his foot in the door, and he is coming because his father wants him to be there.